Hi everybody and welcome to episode number three of the Strategy Explorer video tutorial. No organization typically operates in empty space. Each possible subject is embedded in a certain environment that poses constraints but also offers opportunities. Therefore, it is important for strategy development to understand this environment. Phase B of the Strategy Explorer process is about analyzing the situation and relevant developments and then deciding what to do about it. Step 3 specifically concentrates on the analysis part. Only if the external conditions and their potential development are sufficiently understood, a promising strategy can be developed to successfully reach the overall goal. In the Strategy Explorer, the subject field is located within a larger environment circle, entitled Situation and Trends. This field is the place where you collect the relevant observations and developments that characterize the environment of your subject. In order to help you create a picture that contains various perspectives, the environment field is structured according to five categories. On the left-hand side, competitors of the subject are alternatives to the offering provided. On the right-hand side, the customers of an organization as well as buyers and users of the offering the subject provides. Cooperation partners who help bring the business model to life. The technological state of the art and future developments. This comprises existing and already used technologies as well as new ones. And last but not least, the larger environment. Describe here the situation and important developments in the industry and world around it, including, for instance, important political, economic, ecological and legal factors. As space is limited, focus on the most important facts and developments. If you have too many ideas, collect them separately and then transfer the most relevant to the Strategy Explorer. Place the observations of the current situation close to the center and the expected developments rather towards the outside of the circle. This will help you construct logical chains for the next step, the SWOT analysis. Creating visual chains of argumentation is one of the major features of the Strategy Explorer method. How that works exactly, I will show you in the next episode of the video tutorial. In the meantime, let's have a look at the environment analysis for EcoMeet, our example from the previous sessions. The environment analysis for EcoMeet has many aspects that we cannot cover in this short tutorial, but let's just pick a few to get an idea how it works. In terms of customers, EcoMeet targets the classical meat eaters, but also vegetarians who avoid meat primarily because of concerns for health and animal welfare. Therefore, the main alternatives for customers to EcoMeet come from classical farming, but also from other in vitro startups, or they consist in purely vegetarian or vegan meat substitutes. In terms of trends and developments, the EcoMeet team observes that, despite all criticism, the worldwide meat consumption continues to rise. At the same time, eating meat becomes more and more ethically questionable, which will constitute one of the big opportunities for EcoMeet. At the same time, also vegetarianism is on the rise and the vegetarian meat alternatives are getting better and better. This will probably be one of the major risks for EcoMeet. Here you could already see the starting point for the construction of visual logical chains. We will go into more detail in the next episode when we talk about SWOT analysis and how to derive conclusions for potential strategic moves. In the meantime, have a look at the Strategy Explorer website or LinkedIn for more details about step number three. For everybody who can read German, I recommend just check out the book. In any case, stay tuned for the next episode. Take care.